Hey there. Um, for my app, um, I did a little project that puts together the Spotify API and uh, the Tone Analyzer API from IBM Watson. Um, essentially, the kind of the genesis of uh, what I wanted to do was the feeling of confusion that I get by just the proliferation of choices I have on Spotify. Um, everything's there, but you, sometimes you end up listening to the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and so this uh, masterpiece of design that you see uh, in front of you is the result of that. And essentially, it's very simple. You just kind of tell this text box right here how you're feeling. Um, and that gets sent off to the IBM, uh, to the Tone Analyzer API, uh, which returns uh, an object that uh, you know, will essentially give you uh, an array of objects um, that correspond to five different um, emotional states. Um, and I used that to kind of pick out which ones were most prevalent uh, and then send it to the recommendations endpoint on the Spotify API, which will send back um, hopefully a playlist. So if I say something like, um, I really hope that this works now, and then hit the button, wait for a second, and there we go. We got like a little playlist here. Um, so that's you know about the gist of it, and you can you know tell it different things, and you know it will respond with music that should be related to those feelings. So if you say like, "Wow, that was so awesome," you know you should theoretically get music that is is happy. Um, so that's, you know, more or less it. Uh, ideally, uh, there's a lot of room for improvement here. You could, you know, uh, I think fine tune the functionality of it a lot with the Spotify API, which is really great. Um, you know, because they allow you to specify different emotional characteristics of the tracks that you're selecting, um, which maps really well to what you can get back from IBM Watson. Um, and also it's pretty easy to like, put in 30 seconds of a, of a preview, but I just didn't quite get there. So that's it. <laughs>